we understand that whenever you apply a force on a particular substance, there you have pressure also because pressure force the area. Then why can't we have pressure due to atmosphere? Yes, the whole atmosphere consists of atmospheric particles. And these atmospheric particles have masses. And when the masses the particles have, then they will apply force on the bodies, on the earth. That means the atmospheric particles also applying pressure on the bodies, on the earth. Now how do you find the atmospheric pressure? Let us do some mathematical calculation and then I will tell you, do, tell you how to find atmospheric pressure practically. We know that pressure P equal to force by area. And force is nothing but also called weight by area, weight of the atmosphere. And weight formula, we know that we studied that mass into acceleration due to gravity by A, this equation 1. And already we learned that density rho, see now I am changing the symbol, you can use D rho, both are same. Density rho equal to mass by volume implies mass equal to rho into V. Now substitute this mass for value in this formula, therefore pressure P equals to rho into V into G by A. Next step, rho into V is volume. You know the volume formula of a cube, length into breadth into height. But length into breadth is called area. So volume can be written as area into height. So volume can be written as area into height into G by A. So area, area cancelled. So what you get? P equal to rho into H into G. Or simply, I can say that P equal to rho H G. So this P can be written as P naught and this is called atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure. So the formula for atmospheric pressure is P naught equal to rho H G. Rho is the density, uh, density of the atmosphere and uh, H is the height or you can say depth also. G is acceleration due to gravity. So we have found that atmospheric pressure P naught equal to H rho G. Okay. Now practically how do you find atmospheric pressure? There is an instrument called barometer. Barometer. Using this we can find practically what is the atmospheric pressure on the earth. Let us discuss this. Take a container container filled with mercury it is mercury now take a test tube fill the mercury in the test tube and make it upside down and put it inside the container like this upside down Inside the test tube, we have the mercury. After filling the test tube with the mercury, upside down and put inside the container of mercury. Then what happens? Some of the mercury flows down. It flows down, keeping some space here. And this space has nothing. This space is vacuum. Filled with nothing, it is vacuum. Now, as the atmospheric pressure, this atmospheric pressure applies on the surface of the mercury, and because it's pressure, this pressure acting inside the test tube also, and after it's adjusted, you get the vacuum like this. Now, at the sea level, scientists were found that at the sea level, the level of the mercury column, this is called level of the mercury column would be 76 centimeters. This was found experimentally. So at the sea level, the level or the length of the mercury column is 76 centimeters. So this would be the height also. So we found that H equals to 76 centimeters. 
height of the mercury coil i will write here height of the mercury column or you can say level of the mercury column also next rho density of the mercury density of the mercury which is 13.6 gram per centimeter cube standard value next g which is acceleration due to gravity and know the value it is 10 meters per second square let us take 9.8 the standard value 9.8 meters per second square now find atmospheric pressure p naught equal to h rho g h is 76 centimeters you have to convert into meter so 76 into four minus 2 density is 13.6 gram per centimeter cube so 13.6 gram per centimeter cube should be converted to kilogram per meter cube so it is nothing but into 1000 into 9.8 now if you calculate it and simplify it you will get 1.013 into 10 to the power of 5 pascals so this is the atmospheric pressure value at the sea level now here the one question may be come to in your mind that why you had taken only mercury in barometer to find the atmospheric pressure why can't we take another liquids because mercury has some peculiar properties first one it is metal which is in liquid state second one very important property it is having high melting point you won't melt at normal temperatures it takes so much of high temperature to melt so as a as its temperature or melting point is very high it is preferable to find the atmospheric pressure okay now see this number this is the atmosphere pressure acting on us everywhere on the earth whether you're walking whether you're running whether you're jogging anything you're doing on the outside of your home the atmospheric pressure acting on you this much of atmospheric pressure this is the atmospheric pressure acting on us everywhere on the earth now i'm going to explain you this number is how much big value it is see here if you take p naught equal to approximately 10 to the power of 5 pascals it is also written as 10 to the power of 5 newton per meter square that means for 1 meter square the force applied is 10 to the power of 5 newtons so 10 to the power of 5 means i can write like this 1000 into 100 no not 1000 10000 into 10 newton by meter square why why should i write like this both are same but why have written like this if you take if you take mass of one ton one ton mass is nothing but thousand kgs one ton mass is nothing but thousand kg now weight of one ton is nothing but m into g so it is thousand into 10 now how much this is 10,000 newtons so one ton of mass has a weight of 10,000 newtons one ton of weight is nothing but it is the weight of a truck sometimes it loaded truck also so 10,000 newton is the weight of the loaded truck and 10,000 this number see this one 10,000 newtons loaded truck now this 10,000 newton into 10 means what this total weight is not the weight of one loaded truck it is the weight of 10 loaded trucks see 10,000 is equal to weight of loaded truck loaded truck but how many loaded trucks are there into 10 so 10 loaded trucks weight is acting on you just imagine if any person standing before the loaded truck and the loaded truck hits the person the person immediately die with one truck but here we have 10 loaded trucks which is acting on on your head 
that much of weight is acting on your head but still you're not feeling that weight why it is so because the first point is that this atmospheric pressure spread everywhere in all the directions not it is concentrating at one particular point it is spread everywhere now what are the pressure acting on our head that pressure is balanced by the pressure of the blood in our human body so the net force acting on it is zero that's why even the atmospheric pressure is, is existing the atmosphere we don't feel that pressure 